Hi there, it's your favorite travel agent back with another travel tip for you. Today we'll be talking about the top 15 things I wish I knew before I went on my first cruise. Before we get into it, don't forget to like this video if you find it helpful, comment below what you wish you knew before your first cruise, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a future upload. Before you decide which cruise to take and you're doing your research, make sure you research the ship that you'll be sailing on, not just the cruise line. Every ship is created different, even those that sail under the same banner. So just because you've been on a carnival ship doesn't mean you've been on all the carnival ships. Understand that the shorter the itinerary means the younger the crowd, or vice versa, the longer the itinerary, the older the crowd. So Think about the kind of person that would be able to take a vacation for longer than two weeks. Those are going to be typically retirees or people who have the disposable income to support that kind of a vacation. It's not going to be a family with young children typically. So keep that in mind when you're booking your itinerary. No need to overpack for your cruise because remember the cabins and closets are small, especially if it's a first time cruise and you're going to be in an inside cabin, you may be surprised by how tight the quarters are. The less you pack and the smaller your suitcase, the easier it will be to organize your cabin. This is important. Download the cruise line app before you get to the port. Everyone and their uncle is going to be trying to download that app while they are trying to board the ship and it's going to make load times really slow. Don't get caught up in the traffic and download it before you arrive at the port. You'll want to make sure that you book your highly desired shore excursions in advance of your trip and definitely before you board the ship. If you're traveling to Alaska and you want to take the helicopter over the glacier, which is an incredible experience, you'll want to make sure that you've booked that well in advance because it will sell out especially on Disney ships. If you want to have a princess makeover or do something special, you'll want to book that as soon as possible because those events do sell out. This is a tip for departure day. You'll want to make sure that you pack your swimsuit in your carry-on so that you'll be able to hit the pool as soon as you get onto the ship. Don't wait for your suitcase to be delivered to your cabin because it's going to take a while. If your swimsuit is in your carry-on, then you can go to your cabin as soon as it's available, get changed and hit the pool before the crowds get there, and you won't miss out on that first important day of your trip. This is another tip for departure day. Make sure you put your cell phone on airplane mode as soon as you board the ship. Once the ship enters international waters, you don't want to get stuck with roaming charges that your cell phone is racking up just because you are in the middle of the ocean and you're probably not even looking at your phone anyway. In your cabin, power outlets are going to be a hot commodity. Make sure you bring a power strip without a surge protector so that you can charge all of your devices throughout your vacation. This is a common pitfall. Don't try to do everything on your ship on day one. There are going to be crowds in certain places because people are getting onto the ship and want to explore. But more than that, your cruise ship is huge. It's huge. It's the size of a city. It is a floating hotel. There is no reason to try to do everything on the ship on day one. Make sure you leave yourself plenty of time to explore later in the vacation because the crowds will have dissipated and you'll have a better experience. Waiting for the elevator can take a long time. If you only need to go up or down one deck, it's often much faster to take the stairs. Critically important, make sure you understand completely what's included in your cruise fare. All cruise lines are created different and they include different things in their packages. You don't wanna get on a ship and expect that all your sodas will be included just to find that you need to purchase the bubbles package. You don't have to worry about tipping people on the ship. Gratuities are paid in a lump sum for almost everyone who is providing you service on a ship. Some cruise lines include gratuities in the cruise fare, but many lines will break it out as a separate line item on your room's charges that you will reconcile before you disembark the ship at the end of your cruise. There may also be additional gratuities added to your bar tab, as well as spa treatments. So make sure you're not double tipping for people who are already receiving a service fee. Skip the buffet for breakfast and go and eat in the main dining room. 
Many people forget that this is an option and you can get amazing sit down, fine dining breakfast in the main dining room included in your cruise fare. Formal light is as fancy as you want it to be. It's not like cruises of the past where everyone is in an evening gown, although you will see evening gowns in tuxes. But more likely you'll see people in cocktail dresses or nice sundresses. And you'll even see people who don't participate at all wearing just their standard resort casual wear. If dressing up for a fancy evening is not your idea of fun on your vacation, then don't do it. It's not a big deal. My most important tip, bring sunscreen and apply it liberally. Sun protection cannot be overstated, especially in the tropics. The closer you get to the equator, the stronger the sun is. And if you're not used to being out in the sun all day, you don't want to get sunburned. Nobody wants to spend the second half of their vacation in pain from a sunburn. There you have it. Those are the 15 tips I wish I had known before I went on my first cruise. What about you? What do you wish you had known before you took your first cruise? Or what do you think first-time cruisers should know in general? Be sure to comment below and let me know what you think. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my content so you don't miss any uploads. And of course, the most important, please consider me to be your travel agent the next time you're ready to plan your dream vacation. Visit www.855greattrip.com to view current offers and to send us an inquiry. Thanks for watching and travel safely.